Don Win. Thank you. I know that's a finish you've been chasing for a while. You wanted that one. How good would it feel to get it? I felt great. Uh, yeah, that, I've been working for that for a while. Is right, um, and we got it. In the first round, I think you landed an elbow as she was coming in. It seemed to bust her nose completely. I think from that point on, did you know I've got this girl on the, ro the ropes here and I can get a finish? I knew it from the second I stepped in that cage that I had it. In the second round, she seemed to get you back, but did we get any damage or was it just a bit of blood? Uh, I actually don't know. Um, this has been seeming to bleed like in the last two fights. So I think I, I, I had it busted a while ago um, and I think it's just starting to really have some problems, but she did hit me there. She got me with a good jab and uh, opened it up. What would you like to do next? Where do you think this win puts you and um, what are you aiming for? Um, I've been saying it time and time again, you know, whether uh, Alexa wins against Valentina or not, I do want that rematch. Um, so we'll see, you know, that would be ideal, but um, we'll see. I'm going to go back and talk to Hunter Mick and uh, the team and figure it out. Would that be one where if, let's say, she loses to Valentin, you'd still fight for the rematch, get the win, then that propels you into that title fight, right? Yes. Cool. Thanks very much. Macy, how important was it to just go out and, and dominate the way that you did, especially coming out of the Andrea Lee fight? I know you felt like you won the fight. Other people kind of doubted it a little bit, but to go out there and just have the performance like that and erase all doubt, what did that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Every time I step out in the cage, I'm going out for a finish. And I mean, the competition is getting tougher, but at the same time, you know, I really needed to step it up and, and just get into that zone um, again, you know, and just put myself in that position where I'm like, you know what, there's no way out of this except for me finishing this girl. One of the things you said in the, the post-fight interview was that you opened up the eyes of the division. You sent a message to everybody. What, are they, what do you feel like the top five are thinking about you right now? Are they like, oh, I have to start worrying about her, start thinking about her, watching tape, like, because she's coming? I mean, they should be, but at the same time, you know, for me, it's, it's where I said at that is, I think that with my last few performances, people probably are like, oh, well, she's going to go to a decision. She's, you know, backing down, but I'm not backing down, and I'm coming to finish these girls again. You got blood all over poor Daniel Cormier. <laughs> I got blood all over everywhere. You did. Uh, yeah, Daniel was pretty cool about it, but what do you want to say to him? Do you want to apologize to Daniel nah, for that? No, nah, okay. he's okay. He can keep that. Congratulations. Thank you. Macy, would you say this is your best career performance? I mean, that's what I've been hearing, but um, probably. I haven't watched it back yet, obviously, but um, I'm trying to chase the next best thing, so I hope that it was probably the best one that I've had so far, and, and I hope that the next one's even better. Yeah. And, and I see you very, like, calm, very stoic in a way, like, not, you know, going crazy. I mean, it was a huge win, right? And is there, is there, is that on purpose? You're trying to stay kind of leveled or? or? Uh, yes and no. I guess it was just something I, I expected this. Like, I literally expected to go out there, do what I needed to do, and walk out and just be like, you know what? Another day and, like, going on into the octagon. So, um, as excited and happy as I am, it's like, I'm not surprised. I planned this and I, I worked really hard for this. Yeah. And you've always been talked about as so young, a prospect, right? The future. But is that now the present? Do you feel like you're a title contender here? I keep saying this every time. Everyone's like, when's the future going to turn into the present, the past? And it's like, for me, it, was, it has a little bit more meaning for that, meaning to me than that. Um, it's, it's literally just like a reminder of me to always continue to think about the future, think about, you know, the next opportunity, think about the next fight, think about the next... Um, bit of evolution that I can have. So to me, that name has a lot different meaning. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it kind of is the future and it kind of is the present. Yeah. Five fight winning streak, uh, an incredible finish of Amanda. He was, before this winning streak started, you had some setbacks and you probably heard the critics, right? Say, oh, the future of this, that, you know, she maybe wasn't who we thought she was. Looking back at that sort of period of your career, um, what would you say to, to the haters now? Or the people that doubted you? They can hate or they can love me. I don't really care as long as they pay attention. Mm -hmm. And what do you think makes sense for you next? Is it just waiting the result to see what happens between Valentina and Alexa in September? Uh, yes and no. Probably um, figuring it out. I, I honestly have to talk to everybody, but that's, I mean, that's what I wanted was Alexa and a rematch. Who do you think takes the belt uh, between them two? It's a toss-up. I mean, we, Alexa is an incredible fighter. Um, Valentina was a dominant champion for so long for a reason. Um, so it's an, honestly, it's, it's something where like, it's hard to give a prediction because anything can happen. Thank you and congrats. Thank you.